hey guys and welcome back to my channel so today what we're going to be doing is we're going to be doing a whole entire look and it's all going to be all brand new releases um new try-ons really hyped up really popular makeup on tiktok uh, YouTube, Instagram, we're gonna hype it all up and show you guys everything and I will let you know if it's really worth all that hype. I did want to give a shout out to all of the oily girl friendly SPFs that I have been seeing come out <laughs> and the tried and true good old ones that have been around that I absolutely love and I want to let everyone know since this is, I mean every season is SPF season but I really really like to push SPFs because not only skin cancer number one, but premature aging, spot, dark spots, all kinds of things that can happen with your skin, no matter what skin tone you are, so you always need to wear SPF. I'm gonna give a shout out to these two, which are the newer ones, <clears throat> Glow Recipe, SPF 50 with niacinamide, very oily girl friendly, it has hyaluronic acid, aloe, and a blend, blend of gentle, real safe mineral and chemical sunscreen actives. And this one is the Every Single Face Watery Lotion SPF 50 as well. I've been trying to reach for the 50s as much as I can. This stuff is very nice, lightweight, very, very good coverage. It doesn't feel like anything. It doesn't smell like anything. It's just wonderful. Um, Supergroup's always been, like, really good with the SPFs, but they're getting even better. The only thing I wish they would give is a, just a little bit more. Um, it's This is only 1.7 fluid ounces. I would really prefer if they gave, like, you know, at least, like, three or four ounces or something make like a bigger bottle of this specific type the watery lotion it's broad spectrum SPF 50 water and sweat resistant 40 minutes so I've been using this on my face it works wonderful under makeup both of these do no pilling no issues and then a tried and true that I always have been using forever this is the L to MD SPF 46 it calms and protects acne prone skin high purity niacinamide um, transparent zinc oxide UVA UV, UVB protection this is for skin types prone to acne rosacea and hyperpigmentation and I can tell you I love this it does have a bit of a chlorine smell that's the only thing I can say that's bad about it other than that it's good you get it you know a decent amount goes a long way there are big bigger bottles than this and I've got the tinted one as well for when I go on vacation and I don't want to like have foundation on in the pool or the beach or something this is just perfect and the, t the tinted one is as well because it can just make your skin look flawless while also giving you the maximum protection so for any oily skin girls those three things oily skin girls or boys those three are my like top faves and they work so well and another one I want to give a shout out to is the tower 28 almost looked like I threw it the tower 28 daily rescue facial spray um, this stuff is for it's the happy solution for angry skin. Soothe, oh, purify, and renew. Yeah. It also helps the appearance of redness. It helps to, it's also for sensitive skin. Um, if you're having like an angry episode, like an acne breakout or rosacea breakout or something, this stuff is just wonderful. And I saw they came out with a serum too that I might just try. I just have so many serums right now. But I'm gonna start by spraying this on my face because this stuff has just been really saving my life. Especially in the summer months, as us oily skin or sensitive uh, skin prone people are, we know that our face faces tend to get red from the heat, from all the pollen, from all the aggravators, different things like that. So this Tower 28, I just absolutely love it. It's Daily Rescue Facial Spray. I think it's out of stock on Sephora, so hopefully they get it back in soon and rolling because these months are starting to get hot. I live on the East Coast and it's like, it's gonna start any minute it's not like yesterday so all right one of the things I'm gonna try is the Smashbox photo finish illuminate glow primer with vitamin C this is a new one I got a sample of it but um, I see I'll see how I like it I don't usually need illuminating things because I have a gallon of oil on my face all the time and yes I do use all the things for oily skin I go to an esthetician all that but you know, sometimes it just wants to still shine through all of that after a couple hours. So. Oh, I'm going to give this a try though because this is a newer primer. Smashbox been going a little crazy with the primers lately. They've been uh, getting a whole bunch of new ones out. Anyway, that's what it looks like coming out. It's a lot of primer. 
but we're gonna try it. Let's see how it goes. It's glow, it's got vitamin C in it, which is always nice. It does feel a bit oily. Am I all shiny? I'm shiny. Pull it up. It's definitely getting. You see this? You see how my body's glowing like that? Glow. Yeah, a lot of people can't do that. Come get some um, of this glowing. I like it, but I tend to get so oily that the makeup doesn't want to stay on after like a couple hours just because my oily skin will just not let it absorb because there's just so much oil in it. So it just, my makeup will just be like smearing off. There are, there are a couple products that give me an exception to that, that have like the, the dewiness and that's the Melt Makeup Grip one. And there's like the um, Elor one from Guerlain. It's really expensive though. I do have a bottle of it, but I'm just afraid to like use too much. This is pilling a little bit. I mean, I am rubbing it for quite a while, so maybe that's why, but it is pilling. But then again, I don't want to like blame it all on that because I kept rubbing. I don't know if you guys can see the pilling. It's very, very little. But uh, that is their new vitamin C primer. So a glow primer so we shall see how it performs under makeup all right so first thing now that we've got the primer on first thing i'm going in was with the new dennis americ's yummy skin blurring balm powder face and eye powder with upsolite technology this is a texture reducing coverage boosting blurring balm to powder that balances oils throughout the day while maintaining hydration powered by cutting edge blurring swedish technology Upsolite, I don't know if I'm saying that right, visually creates a soft focus effect on pores and fine lines. How to tap on with fingers to smooth and blur textured areas. So I was going to use a um, makeup brush from Fenty, but and I got this in the shade too because I heard you need to kind of shade up a bit with her because she does tend to make like super fair shades. comes with a little spatula type of thing that you can scoop it out because it is like a powdery balm from what I'm seeing. This is what it looks like. It's definitely like, um, definitely very powdery. Oh, I'll just put that on a while. So we're going to scrape some out and see how it goes. There's a nice little aesthetic scrape for all of you that like that stuff. That's what it looks like, scraped out. So, let's see how this goes. Safe for the eyes too. I know it looks crazy right now, but a lot of her stuff tends to till you blend it in and then it's like, Oh my gosh, she's a freaking genius. I just love Denise Myrix. She's she knows her stuff and she can make some of the most amazing famous looks around. Like if I was rich and famous, if I was going to events, I would choose her to do my makeup because homegirl don't play. Like she just doesn't. She knows how to make amazing looks. far it definitely feels like it feels like skin like it literally is just so lightweight it doesn't feel like anything's on your face and it does tend to blur a little tiny bit I don't know if you guys can like see it's blurred like a tiny bit um, overall I really like the texture which is weird for me with balm stuff. I'm just really weird about that, but I'm just putting a little more on my brush. All right, I think I'm done. Overall, I really, really like the texture of it, and I really, really like 
the way it looks. Let me see if I can zoom you guys in. What do you guys think? Hey. Hey. Hey! I think it feels really good. It looks like skin. Like it looks like there's nothing on. So far, I am very impressed. I'm impressed. <laughs> so another one that I really like, the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Anti Creasing Light Capturing Self Setting Concealer. Now I only really knew about this stuff from Ariel when he did Kim Kardashian's makeup. So I tried it out just to be part of the the trends. If he is using it on her and her under eyes looked literally creaseless. So yeah, we're just gonna tap a little underneath. I get the hype on this stuff because of the fact that I've used it in my last video and it literally and it literally worked so freaking well. I'm going to zoom you guys in and I'm just going to like pat it in with one of my like eyeshadow brushes. It definitely self sets. And it covers everything so well. I know that it's not a new product, but for a lot of people that didn't know about it before, it is new. And for me, it was new. So um, it self sets, it really stays, and oh my God, does it cover to the gods. Like, look at that. No creasing. I mean, other than my aging, that's it. Granny loves you! Um, so yeah, I wanted to show you guys that because that is something that, believe the hype around it, it is literally correct. Um, they are correct about it. And I did get this in the, the color 25. Don't hesitate, they're not lying. Okay. Another thing I wanted to point out is the Ilia Fade Into You Soft Focus Finishing Powder. A lot of people don't know about this product. It is absolutely perfect, especially for us ladies with the fine lines and wrinkles that tend to show up in our 30s and almost 40s. Um, so I'm just going to put like a little dusting. Woo. Wish I could jump in there and roll around and all that cascading white powder it is very finely milled and I love the smell of it. it has like a little tiny bit of a floral smell nothing too much but it really is working well with the con with the concealer and the, um, the Danessa Myricks balm as well like it really works well with it Oh my gosh, my complexion looks amazing. Ah. Okay, so we're gonna leave a little bit of that powder in there because I'm gonna do a little bit of baking, but I'm going to show off the one size made for shade bronze and sculpt trio. I really like this one. I got the light trio. <laughs> I literally saw someone going like this with one of the pictures I seen on Sephora. They were like this like on the phone. It does remind me of a flip phone. Maybe that's what he meant. Um, for it to do as well and I'm just gonna go in with the Fenty highlighter brush. It works well for me with contouring as well I mean, I have a lot of contour brushes, but this one works just fine for me So I'm just gonna go ahead and contour a little bit That's why. I'm only going to forgive it because it was expensive. Um, so I'm just doing like a little bit right there. This beauty blender is a little bit wet. I don't like soaked beauty blenders. Not all things soaked are better. 
okay. And if you guys didn't get that, you're not old enough to be watching my channel. huge product that everybody seems to love is this NARS Thrill Blush. I mean, how can you not? Look at that. Look at that blush. It is absolutely gorgeous. It's like the perfect pink. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to spread this all over my cheeks because it is so fucking pretty. I did just grab the Dior Glow one as well. That's kind of like this color only because it just finally came in stock. Thank you Babs Beauty for letting us know. I literally love her so much. Anybody else watch her channel? I love her channel. She literally gives the best, most in-depth reviews. See, look at that. Just like the perfect pink. Not too much, just perfect. Love it. All right, and then another one that I got that you can't ever hardly get is the new Pink Gasm. It's not really new, but it's just really hard to get. Pink Gasm Beauty Light Wand High Blush from Charlotte Tilbury. This is like a blush and also Also a highlighter in one. So hard to get. Let's see how I take this out. Like, all right, so it comes out like this, and there's a little powder puff at the end. And this is the color pink gasm. So you just squeeze or no. You push one. Okay. Oh, and it's saturated. I'm just gonna use a little bit because I'll probably never get to see it again. Maybe just like a little bit on my nose. I'll probably never get to see it again before it's back in stock. So I'm just gonna like use my finger and kind of press it on. And let's see if this is worth its weight in gold like they say it is, because it's literally impossible to get. And they say that's because everyone loves it so much. It's definitely very, very pink. It definitely. It really looks like you just were definitely doing all the work in the bedroom and you had like the best orgasm from it, which is worth it. I mean, we all know that's worth it, you know? Do you know that feeling? I really like that. It definitely looks like, and it dries down to a nice powder. Okay, Charlotte Tilbury, I see the hype. I mean, all of her products are just so freaking good. How do you do it? She used to work for Dior, I think, and they taught her a lot, but she also, you know, obviously smartly capitalized off of that and made her own brand, which is good. Get it, girl. The amount of money I'm going to be making would hurt your parents' feeling. Okay, so for anyone who didn't know about this palette, I got this around Valentine's Day. It's the Natasha Denona Valentine's exclusive mini crush eyeshadow palette and eyeshadow brush set. So it came with a brush as well. I'm wondering if the brush was any good or not, but we shall find out. So this was the brush that came with it. Kind of generic, but... What do you expect? And then these are the colors. So I was gonna do like a little pink look, like a tiny one, because I have a couple other things I wanted to show you guys, but I had gotten this, it was only like 25 bucks, and I thought this was the cutest little thing ever. So I'm gonna try this. I don't know how many people got it. It was sold out pretty fast, so I'm guessing not too many. And yeah, I should probably really be using a mirror for this, but. I'm using my camera. Not bad. 
All right, and then I'm gonna go in with like this pinkish color right here underneath my eyelash line because I have some other plans, so. Lovely. And then with this darker middle color, I'm just gonna like kind of carve out right here. I did not do bad for just looking in the camera lens <laughs> at all, okay? Nice. I wanted to showcase was this Tom Ford. This is like a huge thing for summer. Um, it's kind of new. It's the shade Opal. It's the cream color for eyes. And let me tell you, this cream color makes your eyes look so wet. It gives such a beautiful wet effect, and yet it dries down so nice and it stays. So, this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna put it on. Oh my God. Okay, that's what we're gonna do. And I'm gonna use my mirror for this. Look at that. Look how that just tied that look together. And guys, it just dries so phenomenally beautiful. It gives you that wet look all day and it stays. Like it literally won't go. I did a wear test on it already. Um, it will stay. Look how pretty that is. Really just need the absolute tiniest amount. Like. This is all I've used and I've used it a couple times. Barely touched the top. Um, so yeah, highly recommend that. That is something new for a lot of people. This is the new wet look from Tom Ford. It literally is a big secret, but a lot of people need to know about it. The price point is a little high. It's Tom Ford, of course, but it is the O2 Opal. I know I said it before, but this stuff gives the perfect glow, the perfect wet look. All right, so we're gonna go at, go ahead and use this. This is the new Makeup Forever Aqua Resist Color Ink, and I got it in like that greenish, or the, the bluish purple shade, Striking Chameleon. And um, there's a couple things I didn't like about this. It's a little watery. It's definitely precise, but it's a little bit watery and kind of um, hard to work with a little bit. It's very light too. Like you have to put a couple layers on. Like that's with one. Um, so let's try again. So yeah, it is really pretty and you can get like a precise like wing right here. I do really like that. Like very sharp so you can get like a very precise wing um but yeah the pigment's just a little light and it is watery and you kind of just have to shake it a lot and keep shaking okay other eye done oh, you can always tell which is my better eye it's my left eye I'm left-handed too, so that's probably a good reason why. Um, it is just a little hard to work with, but just shake it a lot and you should be okay. <clears throat> All right, another thing I wanted to show you guys was this, look at this ColourPop collection of liners. It's like all their little pastel liners. I forget what it's called. It's cream, they're a cream color liner. So I was gonna do like a pink one in like my waterline. But look at that, and it comes like with a little pouch. And I think I got the whole thing for less than 20 bucks. They just have such good quality eyeliners and such good, um, such good prices and such cute colors. So I'm going to try, I'm going to use this one because it matches my shirt, my, mm, yeah, shirt by the, <laughs> the girl that always mimics the Kardashians. 
I absolutely love her. What's her name? Yuri. Yuri something. I don't know. But she does like the best uh, Kardashian mimicking. I don't know how. I, I can't think of the word. But yeah. So this is her line. She has it on her website and her TikTok. Um, but she always makes me laugh so much. So I got a bunch of the merchandise of her Mia and the ABCDEFG one from Cordy because Cordy's like one of my favorites. Just born bitch. She's the least exciting to look at. So I'm just doing the pink in like my waterline and at the top as well because it's a pastel with pink so it's like eye widening. Okay guys so a tip for anyone who can't just like lift up their lid and get in there and tight line i can't do it like my eyes literally won't let me i just go like this put it underneath and close your eye now it's pretty darn good and it works because other than that it's a no option for me so um yeah so that was nice and creamy it went on well I really, really like it. It works well with the shadow that I used from the Natasha Denona Valentine's palette. So yeah, that's all these colors. Like you can literally use these all year long. Like I will use these all year long. And then another one that I wanted to shout out to, I've used this before, but this is the Giorgio Armani Eyes to Kill. I have a full size one, but I'm trying to use this little guy up here. I have like very short lashes. So, look at that wand. That's always, you know you're gonna get some length from that. Look at that, guys. Did I just say I have no eyelashes? Mm, oh, shit. I need like concealer like this size. Just like, you know, probably about 52 of these put together. And just conceal it so much, it just disappears, really. They're so long, they like hit the top of my thing. Oh well. Anyway, yeah guys, look at that. I hate my mascara face, but look at that. Look at that guys, one dip. All right, so yeah, that is the Armani Eyes to Kill and that was just in black, but I mean, come on. All right, let's see if we can do one of our little tricky tricks and try to like scrape off the boo-boo. Yes, it worked. You got it, dude. <laughs> yeah, a lot of times if it's like a really good quality mascara, you can just kind of scratch it off like that once it's dry. Don't try to do it while it's wet. You will forever regret your decisions. But if it's dry and it's a good quality, you better believe it will come off. So it's completely off. I got the new laminating brow wax from Too Faced. I really wanted to try it. I was seeing a lot of good reviews on this. So I'm gonna do my brows and then we shall see if this works. It's a very long tube. It's called the Too Faced Fluff and Hold Laminating Brow Wax. So it's supposed to fluff and hold at the same time. That's what it looks like. Like a clear gel. So we're gonna see because I'm pretty like, I'm pretty like obsessed with the Patrick Ta stuff and everything. So I'm just gonna do my, here I'll zoom you guys in. I'll show you how I do my brows. First of all, first, 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 first of yes. all. So this is just the Tom Ford brow. Um, stuff so I brush them up and then I just start like mid-length and start that way and then kind of shape my um, arch and then just kind of move my way down but only put a tiny bit like there Kind of like a stencil you just kind of start midway look on your arch
you know I'm pretty secure about my brow game when I am doing this right here on the screen. That looks pretty far for me. All right, so then like with the little bit that you put down underneath, I kind of just like swoop it up. So it kind of coats like those top hairs, the front ones. We really want those to look very natural and kind of like laminate those the most. So that's the way I like to do mine anyway. Everybody has their little way of doing things. I just slowly, slowly make that arch a little bit higher. So I just like that effect. And then sometimes I will do like a couple little swipes. couple little swipes and then brush again because we want it to look very natural and I just try not to brush like all up on your forehead because then it's gonna look like all right you can focus now thank you because then it's gonna look like crazy And you're gonna have like brown marks all right so I'm gonna here we go with the wax see how good this bitch works I mean this baby works because I am pretty diehard fan of the other stuff but keeping an open mind over here Are you out of focus? Oh wow. As it dries down, it gets more tacky. And it really does laminate the fuck out your brows. All right, so these I usually will lay back a bit, but I do like the front ones to look laminated and full. That's not bad at all. It does kind of do the, the, like the same thing as the Patrick Tall one. And I think it's a, around the same price range. So it all depends if you're like a big Patrick Tall fan or not, but it kind of does the same thing. Um, but but it's good. I mean, it it's doing what it's supposed to do and it's doing it very well. Like those are nice looking brows. Okay, yes. All right, two faced, and then I always use the brow wig because I love how it has the little fibers in. Make them brows a little bit bushier, just in the front. Just adds a little bit fluffy. These brows hairs are longer than those. <laughs> no, there's art. This is art. All right. So another thing that I've always mentioned, I've been mentioning a lot lately, is the Refi Lip Sculpt. Um, the, the Refi Lip Sculpt. I got the color in Rosewood. I was lucky to get that before they sold out. So I'm just going to be using the liner on this because I do have a different lipstick I wanted to show you guys that I got. Anyway guys, it's like the best, like it just literally transforms your lips. Um, and then you can use that all to fill in if you want. You know what, in fact I might just do that just so I can really show you guys. And then there's a setter on the other side. But I'm going to be showing you guys another color that I think will look fine on top of this. But um, I've been talking this stuff up like crazy. I'm waiting for the other colors to come in stock because I need them. 
um, but this is the setter and it really sets your lips good without drying them down like it has a really really nice moisturizing quality to it and just like blows your lips up like those lips are amazing why are you the way that you are one of the things I want to show you is the new Dior Addict lip tint I got this color in natural poppy 561 I haven't gotten to try it yet I've been waiting for one of these videos to show you guys so this is the color I think it's so pretty so summer love the packaging there's the Dior packaging and let's try this out Ooh, it's like very lightweight and watery I did not expect that very watery but I feel it like setting on my lips as we speak and it's got like a cooling effect as well like a plumping effect let's read this what this does I can't read what this does god you are aging so rapidly okay the Dior Attic lip tint it's a transfer-proof, semi-matte lip tint made with 95% natural origin ingredients and infused with cherry oil for up to 24 hours of hydration. So it's the cherry oil that makes it feel, um, which it does, it feels really, really good. Um, it's 12 hours transfer-proof with a barely there feel. It literally does feel like there's nothing on my lips. So that's why I was like, is this supposed to be this watery? But it is and it's a gorgeous color too like i'm gonna have to try it without but that's the color that i got very very nice okay okay dior you guys always got it popping all right i'm just gonna put some lashes on real quick it's just some kiss blowout lashes yeah the package looks crazy i've used these before um, I usually use the Glamnetics, but I'm just going to use some quick glue-on lashes, and I will be back. Okay, lashes are on. Shout out to Kiss for reminding me exactly why I use Glamnetic lashes. We're upset. Oh, are we upset? Um, and no, this isn't sponsored, but I'm used to the Magnetic lashes, and I forgot about... I've only been using Glamnetic lashes for like the last year and I forgot about what it's like to deal with the lash glue and um, how sticky it is. Oh, I remember. This isn't how much of a pain in the ass it is. So. Thanks. So, I think they turned out good, but it took me a minute and um, <clears throat> I got lashes, uh, lash glue on my fingers and it was just a, a mess. So anyway, last but not least, since this look is done, um, I wanted to shout out to the K. Ali perfumes. I got the set, the, it's like $95, you get four of a decent size of these um, perfumes. They're top perfumes, which are extremely potent and very good. Um, so in the pack, you get vanilla, sweet diamond pink pepper, Utopia Vanilla Cocoa and Deja Vu White Flower and let me tell you every single one smells so good I absolutely adore her perfumes they last forever and they smell delicious like I love every single one each one has a different note and each one is super good so this pack for 95 bucks is absolutely worth it considering just one of these um, like a bigger size, but one of these costs like a hundred some dollars. So I wanted to shout out to Huda's perfumes because they smell absolutely delicious and I love them. And then another shout out to this Joe Malone. It's the Secura Cherry Blossom. It's a new one from him. Oh my God, it is so good. It smells delicious. It smells like cherries um, with a little bit of a like a light floral smell but mostly cherries and I absolutely love it. And the packaging is just beautiful. It's chic, it's modern, it's simple. It's, it's just, it's so good. Um, so I had to get the big bottle because the other smaller ones were sold out. So um, yeah, this stuff is absolutely worth your money. So anyway guys, that concludes the video. Uh, overall, 
All of these things are absolutely wonderful. I absolutely love them. Really good. I see why they're hyped. I see why everybody loves the stuff. So um, if you want to see more content like this, please like, subscribe, comment, hit the notifications bell. There's lots more to come. Uh, these are the newest releases. I love the Danessa Merrick so far. It's been wonderful. I really like this wax from Too Faced. It's really working good. Of course, I love the Armani, um, the Giorgio Armani, Armani mascaras. The Natasha Denona Val Valentine's palette is actually really, really, really good. I don't think it's around anymore, but it's really good. And even the little brush that came with it was good. The one size, always good contour. It's like perfect. The Charlotte Tilbury um, highlighter. I don't even need to say anymore. Like that stuff is just freaking phenomenal. Um, so highly recommend that. The Ilia powder, I love this stuff always. It never gives me creases under my eyes. It always sets everything really well. Um, these I'm kind of on the edge about the Makeup Forever liners. They they will stay on. It's just the application process is a little interesting. I really really like the feel of the Poppy the Dior um, Poppy Addict lip tint. The lip tints they really feel good. Like I'm all about whatever feels light, um, moisturizing, non oily on my skin, especially for the summer months. Like I want to look hot. But I don't want to feel like all gross and creamy and sweaty, like, no. So, so far I'm loving this Danessa Myricks stuff, like it feels so lightweight. I don't hardly feel anything on me at all, actually. Um, this Smashbox Illuminate Photo Finish Glow Primer, it, it worked well with stuff, but I did feel some p pilling with it. I don't know, um... If it was like this serum I put on my face beforehand, I put like the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Serum on, so I don't know, but it's okay. I've had better. The ColourPop collection is so cute, and for like less than 20 bucks, you cannot fail. And their stuff does last forever. The Refi, as soon as the other colors come in, I'm getting it. I saw there was one color on there that's like way too dark for me, that's left over, that's not sold out, that's about it. So unfair. And then of course the Tom Ford, um, the Tom Ford and Opal, that wet look is just so fucking perfect. So you gotta have, you gotta have this as a staple and it lasts, like it's just wonderful. Um, like I said, the perfumes, the SPFs, those are just recommendations that I've tried that I absolutely love that are new, newer and, um, something that I just want to help my girls and my guys out with. And then the Ultra HD Setting Under Eye Concealer. Absolutely wonderful. If anything, it even helps lines. I don't know how they do it, but if you have like fine lines under your eyes, this like almost makes them go away. It's like Botox. <laughs> it's like Botox in here. I don't know, but yeah, definitely get the Makeup Forever HD. Um, let me see if there's anything else. Oh yeah, and the NARS thrill stuff this is always sold out because it's so pretty but highly recommend it's absolutely gorgeous it is a beautiful like the perfect pink color for any time of year so i think i mentioned everything i used and i hope you guys really enjoyed this and please like subscribe comment i already went through all that schmeal and thank you so much for anyone who's new who's watching and come back and watch my channel. I have more coming. Bye-bye. I'll catch you on the flippity flip. Bye.